Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're just going to kind of be talking all about brushes. This is like brushes 101. I've just really been getting a lot of questions lately about what kind of brushes I use and what brushes I use for what, which kind do I use for my eyes, which kind do I use for my contour, which kind do I use for my foundation. Just all sorts of questions kind of like that. And I thought this would be an awesome video to bring to you guys because there are a lot of people who aren't educated about brushes. Even me, myself, I am still learning every single day. So don't get me wrong, but I remember like back in my high school days when I literally probably only owned three brushes and that's all I used was just three brushes. I probably had like a foundation brush, a bronzer brush, and like an eyelid brush. That's it. Like an eyeshadow brush. Nothing else. So even me myself, I still learn every single day. But I just thought it'd be fun to kind of let you guys know what I know about different kind of brushes and what kind of brushes to use. So this video is going to be pretty long, so we're just going to kind of jump right in. Like I said, it was just really like a spurs of the moment. I've kind of just been running errands all day, and that's why my hair is up, and I'm just kind of in like casual loungy clothes. So like I said, we're just going to jump right in, and I will see you guys in five, four, three, two, and one. So I'm just going to kind of do the type of brushes kind of in categories. First, of course, we're just going to start off with the face, like foundation type of thing. So the number one thing I love using for foundation is definitely my Beauty Blender. I know this, it's really dirty, don't mind it. I know this isn't like a brush. Ever since I bought this little guy right here, it's literally changed the game for foundation. But if you don't have this, there is a cheaper alternative that I absolutely love that I use all the time. It's the Real Technique sponge it's basically just like this it's a little thicker if this one's just like I don't even know how to explain it. it's just like thinner if that makes sense more airy but the real technique one just works just as good I promise so yeah now if you didn't really want to use like a sponge type thing on your face and you did want to use a brush for foundation I would go with something kind of more like this that's really dense and the hairs are a little bit more shorter and there's a lot more hairs um this is another good example right here it, even though that the hairs are really more longer than this one um there's just so many and it's so dense that it's easy to pack on that foundation and blend it out nicely without any streaks. Um, this one is just like a Sonia Kashuk brush that I got in a kit and this one is a Real Techniques brush. This is the Real Techniques buffing brush. Um, but yeah, anything similar to this will absolutely do. I even have a Shishido one that I like to use um, kind of for like spot treatments when I'm concealing. Um, I love using this just to kind of blend out like say I, I, I do have blemishes down here today and I definitely use this just to kind of blend in the concealer down here just because using a brush like this you will get more color payoff compared to the Beauty Blender just because the Beauty Blender what it does is it kind of picks up that extra product that um, kind of makes your face look cakey in a way. This just kind of absorbs all that. That's why you do wet this and you make it damp because it will pick up all that excess product. Um, compared to these, these just kind of really buff it into your skin. So you will get a better um, color payoff if you do use a brush rather than the Beauty Blender. But I love the Beauty Blender. Like I said, it just kind of doesn't make you look so cakey. Um, that's really a bad way to explain it, but that's kind of the best way that I can explain it. But yeah, like anything kind of like this, if you did want to use a brush, I know Morphe has a awesome Kabuki brush for it. There's all kinds of brushes you can use for foundation, but if you did want to use a brush, I would go for a more denser one. All right, next I'm just going to kind of talk about like bronzing up the skin or even contouring. My favorite, favorite, favorite contouring brush is definitely this Tarte um, Kabuki brush. I'm not 100% sure what the exact name for it is, but this is my ultimate favorite contouring brush. It just makes it so easy to get in there and blend it out so nicely. It's so easy even to bronze up the temples and cut the chin. This makes it so incredibly easy. I love it so much. This is pretty pricey. I think I paid 
like $30 for this little brush, but it works amazingly. I'm not kidding. But a cheaper alternative that I used to use all the time for when it came to contouring is this e.l.f. angled blush brush. I know it says for blush, but I would use it all the time for contouring. Just having that angle made it super easy to just get in there and just kind of carve out those cheekbones and this is pretty slim and it does have a lot of bristles kind of like dense like this one so it just blends out really nicely and this brush is honestly like three bucks but I absolutely loved it for contouring it was one of my favorites till I bought this dude but it's still just as good I still use it sometimes I believe I used it yesterday so yeah, I love it just as much as I love this one. No, I'm just kidding. I do love this one a little bit more, but <laughs> what can you do? But yeah, just a cheaper alternative for you guys. It's definitely, I would go with something angled. I know Morphe has some awesome brushes. We will get into some more Morphe brushes later on. Um, But Morphe, if you are looking for kind of like a cheaper alternative type of brush, Morphe has a ton and their brushes probably range no more than I want to say $20 for a brush and that is awesome like I said this brush alone nothing else came with it was $30 so paying $10 for a contour brush that is going to work magnificently and last you a good amount of time is definitely worth the price it's a big bang for your buck that I think but another cheaper alternative I wouldn't necessarily use this for contouring but I do love this for those days that I just want to kind of throw on some bronzer um just to give my face some more color and like just a little bit of depth I love this brush I don't even know how to explain it but this is a Sonia cash hook brush I got it in a kit with that other one um but I'm pretty sure you can probably still find the same kit on like target.com um if not they probably have a kit that's just about the same um but I don't even they don't have names but it's just kind of like it's almost like this but this one is way fluffier if you can see right here it's kind of like fanned out a little but not as much it's more fluffy but it I just love this for just kind of bronzing up the cheeks and it makes it so easy to like bronze up the temples Moving on, I kind of want to talk about like setting the under eye or blending out the concealer. I still love using the Beauty Blender for my under eyes. It's just the thing that's going to help get the creases away the quickest and most efficiently. Um, it's also super quick for me, so I always use a Beauty Blender for that. If you weren't really into using the Beauty Blender, um, I would definitely recommend a brush kind of like this. This is the Shishido one that I mentioned that I just kind of use for like spot treatments. Um, another really good one would probably be the Morphe M334. It's just kind of like an angled fluffy brush. It's a little bit smaller, um, but I just feel like this would be really good for blending out your under eye concealer. You can also use this brush for so much more. Trust me, we will get more into that. Um, another cheaper alternative that I think would be good for blending out concealer is the e.l.f. small stipple brush. Again, the e.l.f. brushes are like three dollars, but this would be like a nice blending out concealer brush if you didn't want to go and get a beauty blender or a Real Technique sponge. Now for setting, um, I tend to use the beauty blender again. I love it so much, honestly. I could use it like for everything for my face, but um, I just kind of dip it in some Laura Mercier loose powder and I just kind of bake under my eyes. But if I'm not in the baking kind of mood, um, I will just take this big fluffy brush from Real Techniques. This is the, I believe, the blush brush. Yep. And I just kind of set with it under beneath my eyes and I kind of set my whole entire face just so that my contour won't be so patchy and my foundation just won't move. I just like to set my entire face with this brush right here. If you want to just kind of like set your under eyes with a highlighting, like a matte highlighting powder, um, I love, this is actually the Real Techniques contour brush. You can use this for contour, but I don't like to. Um, Whatever kind of floats your boat, I kind of have really big cheek area so I do like to use something a little bit more fluffy if you have a smaller face go ahead and use this for contour absolutely like I said there's no rules for makeup honestly there's no rule at all that's why I use this 
for setting my under eyes, honestly. Um, but I just like to go into like my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Kit and pick up some of that highlight shade. And I will just set my under eye with this if I'm feeling a little dark under the eye and I kind of want to brighten up the face. I will just do that underneath. And I will set my entire face with that wherever I put um, concealer. On. We're going to kind of go more into like contouring your nose. My favorite at the moment contouring nose brush is definitely this one from um, Sonia Kashuk. Like I said, I'm sorry guys if you can't get it. But this is just kind of like a concealer brush. I would guess what it would originally be for. But I love using it for contour. Um, it's just really easy to kind of get in there. It's really dense again. And it's just easy to blend it all out. So I really like it. And it has that angle. And it's kind of like flat topped. So I just think it's really easy to get in there with that. Before I had that brush though, my favorite nose contour brush was a Sephora 5.8 and this is a Pro Precision Foundation brush. I just loved it because it was so pointed and it made it so easy to get in there and just kind of blend everything out and it, it just was so precise. Like it said, it said it's a precision brush. So there you go. <laughs> um, Something else you could definitely use this for is sharpening up your contour. Most certainly. I used to do that all the time when I really wanted like a really sharp contour. I would go in with this and as soon as I was done with that, I would then go in with that e.l.f. angled brush a long time ago and just kind of buff it out a little bit and blend it out just so it wasn't so harsh, but it was nice and sharp and that cheek was cut. Something that I like to use for like blending out my contour is, since we were just talking about that, is definitely now a stippling brush. Um, after I put on like my blush and highlighter, I just kind of like to melt everything all together and I will just lightly sweep this brush all over that area just to blend it out really nicely. Um, when I do bake, I like to use this just to kind of sweep off the powder. Just because it's really soft and it's nice on the skin. It's nothing like too harsh. Um, it just makes it really easy just to kind of dust off. Now for blush, I love using, again, like an angled brush. Um, but I like instead of using such a more like fluffy one, I kind of like to use a little bit more like a softer one. Just because I don't like a huge banging blush. I just kind of like a light dust of cheek color. Just a light flush to my cheeks. Just a nice little touch of color. Um, This is a BH Cosmetics brush. Definitely again another very affordable brush. I like to always look for cheaper alternative brushes for you guys and for myself. Um, But I do definitely love this brush for blush I do definitely love this brush for blush. It's just my go-to every single day. And it just works like a dream. It blends it out perfectly. Now for highlighting, I got kind of a couple of brushes. I I have four for highlighting that I have loved for a long time. The first one I want to start off with is my absolute favorite at the moment. Like, I'm obsessed. It's sad. I'm obsessed. This is the Morphe M218. And let me tell you guys... This brush for highlighting, it's so fluffy and like I said, it's not super dense. It's very like light and flimsy, which kind of makes it so easy to blend out that highlight. I mean, there's nothing on the brush, obviously. Um, I did brush wash my brushes before this, but this has honestly been my go-to. Um, you can even spritz the brush with some MAC Fix Plus or setting spray, just kind of dampen it, and your highlight will be banging more than this, I promise. I did not wet my brush today. I just kind of wanted a light dusted highlight, and still, this brush picks up so much product, and it makes it so pigmented and so easy to blend out. Another brush that I wanted to talk about with you guys is definitely like a fan brush. Um, Morphe has a fan brush. This one is from BH Cosmetics again. Um, I love this brush. I've never had an issue with it. The bristles are super soft. Um, but like I said, Morphe has one that's very cheap. I know I think e.l.f. has one. Um, if you did want like a higher alternative, my absolute favorite, favorite higher end, more costly brushes are definitely either It Cosmetics, um, and probably, oh, it's Sephora brushes, duh. 
Um, but Sephora brushes and in cosmetics, I know for sure if you did want like a higher alternative one, they do definitely have this. Any makeup brush brand definitely has one of these. Um, and I bet they probably all work just as good. I know the Morphe one is awesome because I watch Nikki tutorials on it and that girl never lies. She loves the fan brush from Morphe. So that's definitely a cheaper alternative. Um, actually BH Cosmetics is pretty cheap, but if you can't get your hands on this exact one, like I said, Morphe, I think it's just around the same amount. Um, but again, this just makes it so easy just to kind of dust on that highlight. Okay, I think that kind of pretty much sums it up for the face. Now we're going to kind of talk more onto eyes. I definitely want to talk about blending brushes. That's probably the most important brush when it comes to eyeshadow is blending brushes. My absolute favorite, favorite, favorite blending brush. And I've had this for almost two years now and it's still top dog <laughs> is the oh, crap I don't even remember which one I I don't remember which one it is but it's just a, a cosmetics fluffy brush it's just super fluffy um again it's dense but flexible at the same time and it just makes it so easy just to blend out like any transition color that's definitely what I use it for or even if I need to go in with a clean brush I go to this one every single time I have multiple of these because these are my absolute favorite brushes for eyeshadow um just for blending it just makes it so easy for your eyeshadows to be blended that's about it. Um, another one of these blending brushes that I do like is the Morphe M139. This is another top dog. This is kind of like the It Cosmetics one. It's just a little bit more precise and it kind of has that point to it. So it makes it so easy to kind of get in there and just blend out any kind of color. It also makes it super easy to kind of get the outer V which is another thing that I absolutely love about this brush. I could not ever in my entire life do eyeshadow without these two brushes. Never. Like, I don't know what I would do. I, I don't know what I would use. Like, I, I couldn't live without it, honestly, because these are amazing. These are, like, my ride or dies. Again, I have multiple of the M139s. They're absolutely amazing. They blend everything out amazingly <laughs> and I'm not kidding another eyeshadow brush that I did like and this is the um a cosmetics brush the number 119 um it just makes it really easy to kind of blend out that lower crease shade not so much your transition shade but the shade you kind of put lower into the crease than the transition shade and it also makes it really easy to blend out that outer V again but these are definitely three of my favorite blending eyeshadow brushes. They are top dogs, no doubt about it. Now for the lid shade, I love using concealer brushes. This is the Morphe M224. This makes it so easy to kind of pack on eyeshadow on your lid, like a shimmery shadow. Um, I absolutely love it for that. Um, Usually concealer brushes I don't use to blend out my concealer. I definitely use them for packing on lid shadow just like I do this one. I have done that my entire life. This is probably my f most favorite one. Um, I do have a little bit of a smaller one that I got from BH Cosmetics. Um, it's basically the same thing, just smaller, honestly. And this I kind of like to use for kind of when I want more precise, like say I put an entire shade all over my lid, but I kind of want my lid to pop, I will definitely use this lid, this lid brush and I will just kind of pop some lighter color onto the center of my lid just so my eyes will pop a little bit more. Another one that you could use for lid or even blending out is another awesome Morphe brush. This is the M333 and it's just kind of, again, like a flat shader brush definitely awesome for packing on lid color it's dense enough to even you could use it for blending out shadow and your outer v and that lower crease shade 
it would definitely be perfect for that. Now for under the lower lash line, I have another Morphe brush that I love using. And this is the M169. It's just kind of like a um, pencil brush. I love it for using the lower lash line. It just gets that color and packs it on perfectly. For winged liner, um, I this is another BH Cosmetics brush. It's just a small winged um, angled brush. It's just really, really tiny. It's very tiny, actually, compared to, like, a brow brush. brush. Um, I have really small eyes, so I absolutely love this for that. Um, now, I kind of just want to show you in comparison to my brow brush versus my eyeliner brush. So, the bigger one is obviously my brow brush, and this one is obviously the eyeliner brush so you can tell it's very very tiny compared to my brow brush so speaking of brows we're just going to kind of move on to those my absolute favorite 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 couldn't live without it is the anastasia brush oh i don't remember which one this is but it's the one with the spoolie and it has that angle i want to say this is the number seven brush i could be wrong if i am wrong about any of these i will put it all down in the description box below but I could not live without this brush it's definitely awesome it's really dense so it makes it easy to get that clean line for your brows um, but I just do use powder so I love this it packs on the brow powder for me perfectly um, I do use two brushes I use this one kind of for the darker shade and I just use this one for the lighter shade up front just because I just I don't know, I just feel like the front shade will just end up too dark if I do use one for one. So I just like to use both. Why not? I know, you got all these brushes, you might as well use them. The last brush I am going to be talking to you guys about is this brush set. It's another angled brush, but I like to use it for my brows. Um, when I do clean up my brows, I do clean them up with concealer sometimes. Everyone makes mistakes, so there's ways you can fix them, and I like to fix a lot of them with concealer. Um, but definitely my brows, I use the Morphe M165. This is just kind of makes it super easy to because it's really long and but skinny at the same time so it makes it really easy to get up in there and just kind of place the concealer and clean up that brow and then you just blend it out but that is kind of really all the brushes that I really wanted to explain to you guys. If you ever have any questions about any kind of brushes or which brushes I prefer the most, anything at all, anything that can pop into your head about brushes, please feel free to ask. I love educating people and giving them my opinions about makeup or beauty products, skincare, anything. I love doing it because obviously I love doing it. I'm here now, ain't I? But this is just something that I really do love doing. I love informing people and just helping people get more educated about it. Even though there is no rules to beauty whatsoever, you do what you want, girl. I don't wear makeup for other people. I kind of wear it for myself because it makes me feel good and I love it. And I love playing with it and I love talking about it. So yeah, why not? Right? But yeah, that's kind of really all I really have to tell you guys. Like I said, there are no rules to makeup whatsoever. It just washes off. As soon as you put water on it um, or a makeup remover wipe, like, it just, it goes away. So there's no rules. There's no reason to say someone's doing something wrong. I'm not saying that anyone is doing anything wrong. This is just kind of my perspective about brushes. Um, so yeah, I just, I just thought I'd give you guys my opinion about certain brushes and what I use them for. So yeah, that's kind of really all I have to mention to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you do like to see more videos. If you guys have any suggestions whatsoever on videos, I am an open book and I will take all of those thoughts and ideas into consideration most definitely. But yeah, just please don't forget to subscribe. Um, I try and put videos out every week, but you know, your girl is busy. <laughs> I got life to handle with. But I do love doing this for you guys. So thank you so much for all the people who support me and watch me. I really do appreciate you guys. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.